सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन इन टू डेज क्लास वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पी आई बी न्यूज़ फ्रॉम थर्ड टू फोर्थ ऑफ अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड गाइज लेट मी टेल यू टू डेज क्लास इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू आर डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू हैव वन और टू क्वेश्चन फ्राम टू डेज क्लास ओनली टू डे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री स्मॉल सेविंग स्कीम्स उसके अलावा भी न्यूज़ हैं बट दीज थ्री स्मॉल सेविंग स्कीम्स आर ए न्यूज़ एंड हेंस all are very very important out of these three one was announced in the uh, in the union budget 23 24 right so unke bare mein hum discuss karenge and before moving ahead there are two announcements so some people were saying that why i did not include foreign trade policy in the pib session so guys don't worry i'll be taking a special session on foreign trade policy very soon thoda sa comprehensively hum usko prepare kar rahe hain that's why it is taking time theek hai aise nahi ki aapko kuch bhi de diya right and second is about the monetary policy committee to jisko karnima ma'am will discuss in her rbi 247 session jo ki hota hai uh, tuesday thursday saturday to next session that is tomorrow she will be discussing the monetary policy committee report okay so let's begin with the class guys and let's move ahead to the very first question which is about the mahila samman saving certificate 2023 which was announced in the union budget for the year 2023 24 so you have to identify the incorrect statement about recently launched new small saving schemes mahila samman saving certificate 2023 so that is the question i hope uh, one second let me increase its thickness yeah so yeah let's move ahead to the mahila samman saving certificate remember it was announced by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman in her budget speech and uh, now it has been launched by the government of india the objective of mahila samman saving certificate is to promote financial inclusion and empowerment of women including the girls now remember isme ye women ke liye to hai sath hi sath ye girls ke liye bhi hai which means minor girl child can also have the benefit of this mahila samman saving certificate now what is this what is this actually so remember it is a one time small savings plan for girls including minors and women right the tenure of the saving shall be 2 years and it will be the account Uh, जो होगा वो वैलिडेट रहेगा द अकाउंट विल बी वैलिडेटेड टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव आफ्टर दैट दी द अमाउंट द डिपोजिट विल बी मेच्योर्ड राइट वट इज द टाइप ऑफ अकाउंट सो बेसिकली इट इज अ सिंगल होल्डर टाइप अकाउंट दैट कैन बी ओपन बाय अ वुमेन फॉर हर सेल्फ एंड इफ इट इज अ केस ऑफ माइनर देन इन दैट केस द अकाउंट विल बी ओपन बाय द गार्जन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दैट माइनर गर्ल चाइल्ड ठीक है जी मूविंग हेड टू द क्वांटम ऑफ डिपोजिट so the minimum limit of deposit is rupees 1000 and any sum in multiples of rupees 100 maximum limit is rupees 2 lakh right so you need to remember the limits very very important minimum limit is rupees 1000 maximum limit is rupees 2 lakh and can any uh, beneficiary open more than uh, one account yes she can open so an individual can open number of accounts subject to maximum limit theek hai let's say uh, a girl a woman x is opening an account under this scheme and she has reached the maximum limit of rupees 2 lakh so now can she open another account yes she can open another account after time gap of 3 months between existing account and the opening of other account so let's say uh, that woman has opened the account this woman x has opened the account on 1st april 2023 and she has reached the mature she has deposited rupees 2 lakh rupees the maximum amount so now she can open the account after 3 months theek hai after 3 months that is may june july on 1st of august April May June yeah for from 1st of on 1st of July she can open the account theek hai ji so this is uh, uh, the very important provision under this scheme now what is the interest that will be paid on the deposits made under this account so interest paid will be 7.5% per annum that will be compounded on quarterly basis and credited to the account theek hai ji ab withdrawal kiya ja sakta account se ki nahi kiya ja sakta so yes there is a provision of withdrawal also uh, but that is limited up to 40% of the eligible balance and that too after 1 year from the date of opening of the account theek hai so if anyone if any woman open opens an account uh, under this particular scheme on 1st of april 2023 so then she can withdraw the amount after 1st of april 2024 only theek hai before that she cannot withdraw any amount and the maximum amount that can be withdrawn is uh, up to 40% of the eligible balance only right so that is all about uh, this scheme and i hope the scheme is clear now let's talk about uh, the question you need to identify the incorrect statement so it was announced in budget 23 24 bilkul sahi baat hai 
it is a one time small savings plan with two year tenure till 2025 exactly it offers a fixed interest of 7.5% uh, uh, interest compounded quarterly ye bhi theek hai and rupees 5 lakh is maximum investment per account under it is that so no that's not 5 lakh it's rupees 2 lakh so this statement is incorrect guys this statement is incorrect which means option d will be the correct answer all right and now let's come to question number two this is again based on a small savings scheme which is national savings monthly income account scheme 2019 so here you will that this scheme was launched in the year 2019 then why we are discussing it today today there must be some news regarding it yes so some changes have been done in the provision of this scheme so that's why we are discussing it today so let's talk about this scheme then we will come back to the question so the news is that the ministry of finance has increased the maximum investment limit under the national saving monthly income account scheme which was launched in the year 2019 for single account the maximum investment limit has been increased from 4.5 lakh to rupees 9 lakh and for joint account it has been increased from 9 lakh rupees to 15 lakh rupees okay so now let's talk about the scheme in detail so first of all it is a small saving scheme which means some kind of account is being opened under this scheme so who can open the account right so it may be opened by a single adult and in the case of joint account up to a maximum of three adults minor can also uh, open the account but minor who has attained the age of 10 years right and in the case of minor and in the case of person of unsound mind the account shall be opened and maintained by the guardian of that minor or of that person who is of unsound mind right an individual individual can also open and operate one or more than one account as single or joint account subject to the ceiling of maximum deposit limit or maximum deposit limit hum abhi hum padhenge okay so more than one account bhi ho sakta hai now deposits ki baat kare now this is something different from sukanya samriddhi yojana account in sukanya samriddhi yojana account only one account can be opened in the name of one girl child okay maximum two account can be opened by a family for their two girl child but for a single girl child only one account can be opened under Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana but here uh, Mahila Samman Saving Certificate may be may ek se zyada account khul sakta hai or National Saving Scheme may be right minimum deposit is rupees thousand same as Mahila Samman Saving Certificate and maximum amount is different for single account it is rupees nine lakh and for joint account it is rupees fifteen lakh right earlier it was four point five lakh and nine lakh respectively but now the limit has been increased the duration of deposit is five years so this is also different uh, from uh, the Mahila Samman saving certificate in Mahila Samman saving certificate the duration is two years but in national saving scheme it is five years all right now what is the provision of closure of account so deposit made into the account and interest accrued on it will be paid after the uh, completion of five years interest 7.6 percent per annum hai is saal ke liye now is there any provision for premature closure yes the account holder can withdraw deposit and close his or her account at any time after one year from the opening of account okay ek saal ke baad premature close kiya ja sakta hai right but here there are some clauses as well so if the account is closed before the expiry of three years teen saal se pehle agar karta hai from the opening date then an amount equal to two percent of the deposit will be deducted two percent amount jo hai of the deposit will deduct ho jayega if the account is closed after the expiry of three years then what will happen how much amount will be deducted one percent of the deposit will be deducted okay now what will happen in the case uh, of the death of the account holder so the account uh, the amount deposited in the account and the interest shall be refunded to the nominees okay so that is all about it and now let's come back to the question okay so for single account the limit has been increased from 4.5 lakh to 9 lakh and for joint account it has been increased from 9 lakh to 15 lakh so 9 lakh comma 15 lakh should be the correct answer because option bhi nahi hai yeah 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 option c option c is the correct answer 9 lakh rupees uh comma rupees 15 lakh question number three pe aajate hai which is about the senior citizen saving scheme just say related ek bar question bhi aajuka hai rbi mein recently so uh, Ministry of Finance has increased the maximum investment limit under Senior Citizen Savings Scheme 2019 from 15 lakh to how much lakh? Okay, so we will talk about it. Then we will come back to the question. Ke upar. So what is the eligibility of opening the account under Senior Citizen Savings Scheme? Who can open the account? So 
when we are talking about senior citizen, so obviously 60 years or above ki hi baat to rahi hogi. But there are certain provisions which may 55 or 50 years wale bhi khol sakte hain. So any individual who has attained the age of 60 years or above on the date of opening of account can open the account. An individual who has attained 55 years or more but less than 60 years and has retired under superannuation or voluntary retirement or special voluntary retirement scheme. Okay? Then retired defense personnel on attaining the age of 50 years subject to the fulfillment of other conditions which are not required for the examination. Okay? And civil defense, defense employees are excluded from it. Now remember depositor may open an account individually or jointly uh, with spouse. Apne spouse ke saath bhi account khola ja sakta hai. Deposit ki baat kare to minimum to same hai rupees 1000 but maximum amount is rupees 30 lakh which earlier was rupees 15 lakh. Right. The duration of deposit is 5 years and uh, the extension of the account, the extension of the duration can be done for a period of 3 years. Interest jo milta hai that is 8.6 percent per annum. Right now premature closure of account ki baat karte hai to kya kya cheeze hai kya kya provision se so if the account is prematurely closed before one year after the date of opening the account, then what will happen? Interest paid on the deposit, which will be in one year, which will be in period, mein hoga, whatever be the interest paid on the deposit in the account shall be recovered from the deposit and the balance shall be paid to the account holder. So basically, whatever be the deposits, that shall be paid back. Interest which will be in the account will be back. After the expiry of one year, but before two years, then what will happen? 1% of the deposit shall be deducted and the balance shall be paid to the account holder. Okay. What will happen if the account is prematurely closed on or after the expiry of two years? So amount equal to 1% of the deposit shall be deducted and the balance will be paid to the account holder. Okay. And if you extension, then what can be done premature? Kiya ja sakta hai? Let's say five years pure ho gaye. Okay. And now uh, any person has extended it for a period of three years. So in, in, in these three years, can he or she uh, close her account or his account? Yes, she can. So in that case, kya hoga? So they may withdraw deposit and close account at any time after one year from the date of extension. Yani ki after total six years from the date of extension on the account without any deduction. So in the case of extension, there will be no deduction if the person withdraws, uh, the person prematurely withdraws after one year from the date of extension. Hai and what will happen in the case of death of the account holder? So if she or he die before the maturity, the account will be closed and deposit will be refunded to the nominees and benefits can also be taken under section 80C of the income tax act. All right. So yeah, that is all about this scheme. And now, so kitna limit bad gaya hai? So maximum investment limit has been increased from 15 lakh to 30 lakh. So option E will be the correct answer. Option E 30 lakh guys will be the correct answer. And now let's come to next question, which is about the Northeast Industrial Development Scheme and you have to identify the incorrect statement. So it is not a new scheme. It is a news because the parliamentary reply has been submitted by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And that's why we are discussing it, right? So let's talk about it. So Northeast Industrial Development Scheme was launched in the year 2017 for a period up to 2022 by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry to promote industrialization in northeastern states and to boost employment and income generation. So as the name suggests, it is for industrial, it is for promotion of industrialization in the northeastern state. And of course, when industrialization is promoted, it will definitely lead to the, the, the increase in employment and income generation, right? The total outlay is 3000 crore. Nodal Implementing Agencies Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, which works under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Now it covers all the eligible industrial units in the manufacturing and service sector, both in both the sectors, in all the eight northeastern states. Right now, what uh, uh, you know, what uh, what assistance government is providing under this scheme? So number one, central capital investment incentive is provided up to thirty percent of the investment in plant and machinery with a maximum limit of 5 crores. Central interest incentive is provided up to 3% interest on working capital for a maximum period of 5 years. That is 2017 to right? Central comprehensive insurance incentive is provided and under which reimbursement of 100% insurance premium is there for a period of 5 years. 
इनकम टैक्स री इम्बर्समेंट फॉर सेंटर शेयर फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर जो सेंटर का शेयर होगा वो नहीं लेगी भारत सरकार जीएसटी री इम्बर्समेंट ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट शेयर ऑफ सी जी एस टी एंड आई जी एस टी फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फाइव ईयर एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंसेंटिव आर ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड फॉर रेलवे राइट एंड रिमेंबर इट इज फॉर ओनली फिनिश गुड्स मूवमेंट फॉर रेलवे ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन शेल बी बोर्न बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर इनलैंड वाटरवेज अथॉरिटी ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड इफ द इफ द लॉजिस्टिक्स इज थ्रू द एयर देन थर्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट of uh, of the cost of the transportation shall be borne by the government of india all right so that is all about this scheme and let's identify the incorrect statement now the scheme was launched in 2017 sahi baat hai it is being implemented by ministry of development and northeastern region now guys please don't get confused by the word northeast it is being implemented by ministry of commerce and industry kaun si ministry ministry of commerce and industry and the total outlay is not 12000 crore it's 3000 crore so only one is the correct but we need to identify the incorrect statement theek hai incorrect ke liye to ho jayega 2 and 3 option e only 2 and 3 will be the correct answer let's move ahead to question number 5 again an important question ministry of education has started registrations for yuva sangam phase 2 through an online portal it seeks to conduct exposure tours of youth in the age group of uh, what to what years from 23 states or ut of india first of all uh, when we discussed yuva sangam last time some people were confused uh, between the implementing ministry so some people were saying that it is being implemented by ministry of development of northeastern region no see this scheme is being implemented that the idea of yuva sangam was conceptualized by ministry of education so if anyone ask you the nodal ministry that will be ministry of education only but in uh, in this uh, yuva sangam Ministry of Education is taking the uh, you know uh, basically it is being implemented in collaboration with various ministries as well. So in that case, क्या होता है कभी-कभी कि कुछ और कोई और ministries में भी युवा संगम के बारे में आ जाता है, right? Like for example, few days back there was a release in the Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region regarding युवा संगम. But that doesn't mean that the nodal implementing agency is Ministry of Development of North Eastern Region. All right? I hope there is no confusion now. so the yuva sangam phase 2 has been announced and registrations have been invited and it will uh, you know attract 1000 youngsters in the age group of 18 to 30 years from 23 states and uts of the country these 1000 uh, youngsters will travel in a group of 45 to 50 to the paired state in exposure tours so yuva sangam is all about the exposure tours right exposure tours kiya hai karaye jate hain paired state mein like ek north eastern state ho gaya aur ek baki rest of the india ka state ho gaya ठीक है तो यहाँ पे पेयरिंग होती है और फिर यहाँ का बच्चा यहाँ जाता है यहाँ का बच्चा यहाँ जाता है ठीक है जी युवा संगम की बात करें अगर डिटेल में तो रिमेंबर इट वाज लॉन्च इन दिस ईयर ओनली 2023 टू स्ट्रेंथन पीपल टू पीपल कनेक्ट एंड बिल्ड एम्पति अमंग यूथ अक्रॉस द नेशन अंडर द स्पिरिट ऑफ एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड इट्स फोकस इज ऑन कंडक्टिंग द एक्सपोजर टोर्स ऑफ द यूथ इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ एटीन टू थर्टी ईयर्स from all the north eastern states and other states right uh now what type of exposure we are talking about so we are talking about exposure in the five p's which are paryatan parampara pragati pradyogik and paraspar sampark in english tourism tradition development technology and people to people connect right five p's are in hindi remember that now this yuva sangam seeks to provide an immersive experience of various facets of life developmental landmarks recent achievements and youth connect in the host state and its first phase was launched uh, in the month of february and march 2023 where approximately 1200 youngsters participated theek hai ji so that is all about yuva sangam and the age group has been asked so the age group is 18 to 30 years and that's why option d is the correct answer question number 6 pe aa jate hain which is uh, a very direct question i believe ministry of culture Recently hosted the first India Central Asia Culture Ministers meeting in virtual format. Which of the following countries did not participate in the meeting? ठीक है जी तो पांच countries ने participate किया था which are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan, right? And this uh, India Central Asia Culture Ministers meeting took place to promote obviously cultural cooperation for better understanding of the culture between the Central Asian countries and strengthening the old age. कल्चरल लिंकेजेस ऑफ द रीजन 
ठीक है जी इसमें क्वेश्चन यही आएगा कि कौन सी पांच कंट्रीज थी तो पांच कंट्रीज ये थी सेंट्रल एशिया वाली कजाकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान उजबेकिस्तान तजिकिस्तान एंड तुर्कमेनिस्तान ठीक है सो विच कंट्री इज नॉट देयर ईरान इज नॉट देयर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव हेड टू द क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट वन सेकेंड या वन सेकेंड ओके सो क्वेश्चन इन शॉर्ट पे चलते हैं बट बिफोर दैट गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव द पी डी एफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन वेयर इज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वेमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट हेडेड बाय स्मृति ईरानी ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द सेकेंड जी ट्वेंटी एम्पावर मीटिंग अंडर इंडिया प्रेसिडेंसी विद द थीम वेमेन्स एम्पावरमेंट अ विन विन फॉर इक्विटी एंड इकोनॉमी सो दिस मीटिंग टुक प्लेस इन तिरुवनंतपुरम ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर एंड रिमेंबर एम्पावर स्टैंड फॉर एम्पावरमेंट एंड प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ वुमेन्स इकोनॉमिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन इट वॉज डन अंडर इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी प्रेजिडेंसी राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर एट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिया डिफेंट एक्सपोर्ट हैव रीज एन ऑल टाइम हाई ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली हाउ मच क्रॉर्स विच इज अ राइज ऑफ ओवर टेन टाइम्स सिंस टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन सो दिस वॉज सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड करोर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन मोस्पी विच इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड प्रोग्राम इंप्लीमेंटेशन हेडेड बाय राव इंद्रजीत सिंह एंड राव इंद्रजीत सिंह लोकसभा कंस्टिट्युएंसी गुरुग्राम इन हरियाणा सो मोस्पी कंपाइल्स एस्टिमेट्स ऑफ रूरल एंड अर्बन इनकम इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर कैपिटल नेट वैल्यू एडेड ओनली इन द बेस ईयर ऑफ जी डी पी सीरीज विच इज करेंटली टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व द पर कैपिटल एन बी ए फॉर रूरल एंड अर्बन एरिया वॉज डैश एंड डैश रिस्पेक्टिवली For rural areas, it was guys forty thousand nine twenty five, and for urban areas, it was ninety eight thousand four hundred and thirty five, right? So the correct answer will be option E, forty nine twenty five and ninety eight four thirty five. And the last question for today: Which northeastern city will be hosting the fourth B twenty conference of the northeast region under India's G twenty presidency? So this city in question is Kohima, which is the capital of Nagaland. Option E is the correct answer. Okay. so guys that is all for today's class and i am taking the sessions uh, uh is tarike se main le raha hu baith ke because abhi mere uh, maine aap logo ko bataya tha i am hurt in my feet so i was hurt in hurt it in my feet to abhi stitches hain to isliye main screen badi screen pe nahi le pa raha hu classes so i hope you guys will manage it right all right so that is all for today's class and uh, i hope all the questions and the explanations are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section Thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless